In this video, you're gonna learn about offer claim ads and how you can create limited time discounts so you can really drive more sales for your online or offline store. You'll start by understanding really what an offer claim ad is and some of the benefits and features of it. Then we will start to look at some examples and some of the copy that you can use for these type of ads in order to get better results. And then I'll show you how you can set up an offer claim ad for yourself and give you an example of that. So let's start by understanding a little bit more about offer claim ads and the benefits and the features of them. Well, the key benefit is that you can really grab attention with a deal or a discount. If you want to boost sales in your online shop or offline shop, a discount or a promotion is a great way to really encourage people to act. It is a tried and proven marketing strategy. You'll see it when you go shopping, sale ends now, there's Christmas sales, there's after Christmas sales, there's a limited time frame on these things and there's often a 20% off, 50% off number that's shown in the window to really encourage people to act. So it's a proven marketing strategy and now you are able to use it in your Facebook ads. So let's have a look at some of the objectives for you if you wanted to use these claim offer ads. Well, clearly, clearly you can reach more people with these offer, reach new people, and it allows you to collect with new people. It gives them a great incentive to take notice of you. Now you can reach these new people through interest and demographic targeting. You can do it through location targeting if you are a physical store. But as well as that, you can reach existing customers with these offers, your Facebook fans, a custom audience, website visitors, your email list, etc. And once again, the, the outcome is to really, and what you want to achieve is to encourage them to take action so you can increase your sales. Now here's one cool feature of these offer claim ads. You can send automatic reminders to people who have claimed the offer and notify them when the deal is about to expire so that they really use it. So that's a great reminder function that is built in as well. So the benefits of offer claim ads are very clear. Let's have a look now at the Facebook ads guide and get a look at some of the copy that you could use in an ad like this for yourself. So here is an example for both desktop and mobile. And you can see the text here, enjoy fresh produce. So starting with a verb before the season ends. So that sentence is creating a little bit of urgency. I can see then below in the headline for the ad, 20% off. So that is the offer. And I can see underneath that again, it's an expiry date. So this is a great way to create that sense of urgency as well, not only in the text here, but also in the expiration date. And you can see the call to action button as well says get offer, really encouraging people to, to click that button and making it clear what the call to action is. Creating a limited time offer for your business is very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that now inside of the ads create tool, which you will find inside of your ads manager. Now, when you come in here, the first thing to do as always is to set your marketing objective at the campaign level. Now you'll see here that a offer claim ad is not one of the objectives that you can pick. And that's because actually the offer claim ad is just a way that you can reach one of your marketing objectives. So you'll find this option inside traffic. So getting people to a website with this offer claim, you'll find it inside the conversions marketing objective. Now remember, in order to use the conversions marketing objective, you do have to have the Facebook pixel set up. And this is most likely going to work much better in an online store where you can measure that through the Facebook pixel. So let's just take the example of traffic and really select this as our marketing objective. Setting up the offer in either case is going to be the same process. Now you'll see here that we have an offer and that is an option and all we need to do is really enable this, select the page that we wanna create the offer for and then click on create offer. And here you can see 
is the little interface where we are going to create the offer. We have a preview of it on the right hand side here. And you can also see a preview of the notification that a person will see if they claim the offer but haven't used it. So that's the reminder notification function that we talked about at the start of the visit video. Right now there's no image in this offer but we can add that later on in the add level. So what we can add in here is just say 20% off. I'll just show you some of uh, the fields that you will fill, fill in here. Tell people about the offer, learn about before offer expires. You can select the end date and the end time, which appears here right under uh, your headline. You can also select where people can redeem this offer. And this is how you choose now if you want people to redeem this offer online or in store. So for example, let's start with the online offer URL. Now a lot of e-commerce sites or other online platforms where you buy things enables you to put in a URL with the coupon already in attached. So for example, I'll take the example of one of my Udemy courses here and you can see that inside of the URL their coupon code is already there. So if they clicked on the offer, they will be able to go straight to the landing page where they would see the, the coupon already applied and that would allow them to check out without having manually to put in the coupon. Now in store, it's gonna be a little bit different. You can uh, sh choose the type of promo code. So you can have no code, you can have a, a code uh, which you can say 20 off now. And in order to measure the success of this campaign, you would have to have a system in your store where you could note down how many people claim the offer, then link that back to your campaign here inside the ads manager and match up. Okay, I spent this much, I got this many customers, and then you would be able to decide if the campaign was successful or not. Now for either scenario, you can limit the total offers available and you can also prevent people from sharing this offer with this little drop down now and you might want to do that uh, if you only have you want to give a limited amount of offers and don't want to disappoint people the final section here is then for terms and conditions and you can see that this shows up if there's any other important rules here if there are things that you this offer does not apply to and you want to specify that this is the place to do it. Now, if we look at the in-store example, you can actually see it here as well because I've created this. So let's just go ahead and create this offer. Now that offer is created. In terms of selecting the audience for this offer, that's gonna depend on your business. Now you could select it for a location and a do particular locations. You can do the radius targeting if you type in an address here. You can use a custom audience, any of the custom audiences that you've learned how to set up. You can use the save audience from a previous campaign. And in terms of all of the targeting and the placements and the budget, we've covered that in previous lectures. So I'm not going to go through that again. I do wanna show you just how to add in the image. Very simple, but just to remind you to do this, so I'll come into the library, just add an image here, and you can see now a full preview of what your offer ad is going to look like. So I can see my headline here, some of the text, and the call to action button. So now that you understand what offer claim ads are and how to create a limited time offer for your online or offline store, go ahead and set one up for yourself following the steps that you've learned in this